The fellow's position is kind of this sweet spot whereby you're totally independent, but because it's just you, you're doing your own experiments. So it's kind of this rare opportunity for a short period of a career to do your own experiments, but totally be master of your own fate. All the labs are very open to collaboration and encouraged to do so. So if you're this individual in this system, it's this great opportunity to sort of jump between labs and use their different resources and collaborate. I'm interested in how the sensory system and the motor system actually interact with each other and talk to each other to generate behavior. And I do that by recording from fly neurons. I show flies these complex movies, essentially, to see how the visual system works. And I do that by doing electrophysiology, which is basically sticking electrodes inside individual brain cells and recording the electrical signals that they use to compute and process information and also to talk to each other. Some people have studied the sensory system and tried to work out how it encodes information. And some people have studied the motor system and tried to work out how it produces movement from the animal. But obviously behavior involves both, and at some point the two have to talk to each other. And as far as we're concerned at the moment, that's just magic. And so what I'm really trying to do is work out, is there a mechanistic uh, explanation of that magic, what's actually happening between the two? It's a very challenging problem, but it's very fundamental to understanding how the brain generates behavior. You've really got to understand how sensory and motor talk to each other. Uh, and things that look like interneurons sort of between the uh, tangential cells. This is my first experience here, having the opportunity to mentor someone. Mentoring has been this great experience. They have this summer undergraduate program here, and it's the, the undergrads they get are very high quality and very motivated and very skilled, and so it's been great to have Sally, who's on this program, come and join my lab. I have two official mentors here, but in reality, I've sort of got a bunch of five senior scientists that I talk to regularly and help me. So that's a lot of mentorship I receive. There's this collaborative atmosphere with sort of world experts all in my, all in my field. So there's multiple people all working on very related problems, but from very, using very different techniques and very different approaches. Science involves these late night experiments and very intense experiments, but it has certain advantages when it comes to that. I, for example, I, I live on campus, which means I've got this five minute commute to work, and my daughter goes to the campus daycare which has made a massive difference to what I can do. The daycare is literally 50 meters away from my office and they've got an open door policy so I can pop in and out whenever I want. So I can really go and see her between experiments, interact with her and I really feel involved with her, but it enables me to do my work. Did you have a good day? Did you play with Quincy? I can go home for dinner and then I can walk back in, do some experiments, then go home. It's difficult to express like, how a big difference that makes to my productivity and my happiness, of course.